It is the 2nd of the 5th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start you off on a video Kevin Blanche put out just now. Fukushima number 4 breaking news. TEPCO finally begs for help. Uh, apparently TEPCO is asking the United Nations for help uh, with unit number 4. Uh, saying they are in deep trouble, that kind of thing. And uh, after 400 and something days, uh, they finally fess up and uh, are asking for assistance. But we'll see what they can do. I will definitely attach a link to Kevin's video. Over to SOP.net, a staggering mess as tsunami debris hits Alaska coast early. Gulf of Alaska Keeper, a nonprofit organization that estimates it has cleared nearly 1 million pounds of plastic debris from Alaska coasts over the past 10 years, is reporting tons of what it believes is likely tsunami debris washing up on the coast. And again, they just found a big uh, Harley motorcycle and uh, a bunch of other stuff as far as uh, this is just getting started. And this debris is going to be across the entire west coast of North America in the very near future. New study proves anthropogenic CO2 emissions can't be responsible for global warming. The evidence was found in a rare mineral that records global temperatures. Warming was far-reaching and not limited to Europe. Uh, throws doubt, doubt on orthodoxes uh, around global warming, quote-unquote. And again, more scientific facts to back up the global warming scam or the, the carbon tax scam in progress. 32 dead porpoises worried wildlife experts, and these are the finless porpoises I reported to you about earlier in China, a very endangered species. And uh, 32 in a, finding 32 of them is uh, very, very detrimental to them. I got another 6.0 earthquake offshore, uh, Mexico, southern tip looks like, and that's about all new they've got going on today. Over to the extinction protocol, call. Uh, the, the Aquarid meteor shower to coincide with supermoon. Earth is entering a stream of debris from Halley's Comet. Sources of the annual ETA uh, Aquarid meteor shower because the shower's radiant is located below the celestial equator. Southern hemisphere observers are favored. And so we're going to have the supermoon, a nice little meteor shower, uh, so it makes some pretty good night viewing for people, especially in the southern hemisphere. Sodden Britain braces for more flooding. Southern England and Wales were on high flood alert Tuesday with thousands of homes at risk from a deluge that has killed one person after Britain. Britain's wettest April in over a hundred years. Rivers were being closely monitored as flood defenses held back muddy water from over 2,500 homes, uh, the Environment Agency said. And again, they are going from uh, drought to flood, and they're still underwater rations over there. Well, they got the Yellowstone Activity Summary Report for the month of April. Uh, Utah reports 29 earth earthquakes were located in the Yellowstone National Park region. Uh, current deformation patterns at Yellowstone are well within historical norms. Uh, Yellowstone, of course, is a very active supervolcano here in the United States. Uh, got another little earthquake swarm happening in Southern California. And... They had some volcanoes on here I wanted to cover. Slight increase in tremors and ash emissions at Ecuador's uh, Tungurahu volcano. Uh, Indonesia's Mount Lokan volcano erupts again. And again in Indonesia, Mount Meripai volcano entering pre preparation stage before another big eruption. So we've got some more volcanoes going off. Over to the RSOE quick, uh, flash flooding, thunderstorms in Nepal, um, severe reports coming out, landslide in China, and uh, that's about all new they've got going on today. So let's go ahead and finish it up with uh, the nuclear stuff, e, e News. Local CBS News, slight leak was found after post-quake inspection of North Anna Nuclear Power Plant. The officials say it's not actually caused by the quake. Uh, this is the one where they had the, the earthquake in Virginia right underneath this nuclear power plant. 
and they have found cracks in the walls and the piping uh, after the fact. And uh, what they're not telling you is they are breaking ground for a brand new nuclear reactor right next door. Uh, pediatrician, homes full of mostly grossly, the most grossly deformed children we have ever seen in the history of pediatrics all around Chernobyl. Uh, I gotta guess they haven't seen anything yet. Japan will no longer be a developed country in less than 40 years. Uh, one of the most powerful Japanese business organization is creating that this disaster is literally going to kill Japan economically, socially, and radiologically. Cleaning up radiation hopeless, says Ryder. There is no end. We adults have to bury a responsibility for the future. Impossible to decontaminate vast forested areas in Japan as a country of forests and mountains. Plants, plants in Tokyo died from Fukushima fallout. See these spots? That's from radiation falling on the, the ginkgos. And again, they've got more flowers and plant life in the Tokyo area. Uh, strange things are happening indeed. Coalition requests UN intervention to stabilize spent fuel pool number four at Fukushima. It is endorsed by nuclear experts. Now this is the story Kevin Blanche was popping out with. Eye opener, under 3% of children exposed to Chernobyl radiation while in wound, womb were diagnosed as healthy at age 7. And, uh, huh, TEPCO taking vacation from Fukushima for a week-long holiday. Oh, it just goes on and on. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments to your videos below. Enjoy awake, everybody. Thanks.